What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at collisions in Pygame and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at collisions. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships to all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at collisions in Pygame. So we got our two little guys here, When I hit it, boom, he bops over, ah, he bops over again, and we can sort of chase him around. Oh, he's way down there. Oh, he's moved over again, and all this stuff. So I'll show you how to, you know, move him around like he's doing like this, or maybe you want to just destroy the thing when they collide, or maybe you wanna stop them from moving when they collide. We're gonna look at it all in this video. And uh, it's actually pretty easy. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pygame series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file I'm calling it collide.py. And this is just the code we've been working on in the last few videos. I took out the sound effects stuff because we don't really need that. And I took out the big text on the screen. You can see I, I kind of cleared that out. So the first thing I want to do is change the position of the guy on the right. And that is our hero left wrecked because he faces left. Uh, because right now they're both starting up at the top right. And I want to put uh, the guy on the right, right in the middle of the screen, just so it's kind of easier to look at this and play around with this. So let's head over here to our hero left wrecked. And instead of having this in the top right, let's put it in the center. And let's go window width uh, divided by two and window underscore height divided by two. Let's save this and run it just to make sure this is looking okay. Head over to our terminal. I'm in my C slash games directory. My virtual environment is turned on and let's run Python collide.py. And when we do, we see now our guy on the right is right in the middle and that's what we like. But now when we move our guy over, boom, he just goes right past him. So uh, we need some collision here. So before we talk about collisions, let's draw a little rectangle around these guys just so we can see where the boundaries are so we can really sort of understand the collision process. And we can do that super easily. Uh, let's just come up here and maybe in our little while loop, let's uh, draw some wrecks real quick here. Eh, maybe let's move this up a little bit here. Uh, let's just go right underneath our screen fill thing here. And here we can just go pygame.draw.rect. And we put, want to put this on our screen. And we want this box to be red, let's say. And we want this on our hero underscore right rect. And let's make this a thickness of one. And let's just do this again real quick and make the other one green just so it looks a little different. And this is going to be the hero left rect. Go ahead and save this, run it real quick just to make sure this looks okay. And you see now our little guys have boxes around them. So just visually, it'll make it a little easier for us as humans to sort of notice, oh, they've actually hit, we don't actually have to do this, but eh, just for fun, we've done that. So, okay, we've got these boxes. Now, how do we detect if two wrecks collide? Well, actually the wrecks have a collision function that you can call that will tell you if they collide. So really easy to use. And let's come down here to, let's say, underneath our key movement things. Make some space here. And let's check for collisions. So to do that, we need some logic. And let's go if the one we're moving around is the hero right, because it faces right. It's the one on the left there. So let's go if that guy, the hero underscore right underscore rect dot. And here we use the collide rect function. And now we pass into this what we're looking to see if it's collided with if it's, you know, had a collision with what? Well, if it has a collision with the hero underscore left underscore wrecked, then we want to do something. And for now, let's just print out, um, I don't know, the word ouch, right? So if we save this and run it, and we see if we move this over, and then move it out. And if we close this, it's printed to the screen a bunch of times, ouch. So as long as the two things are in collision, it will keep printing out, ouch. All right, that's interesting, but it's not really what we want, right? We wanted to do something altogether different. So what can we do? Well, let's move the guy that we're hitting. So say you hit it and you wanna push it. Let's say uh, push image. 
So we can do that by calling the hero underscore left underscore rect. And then we can change the, let's say the X position. And we want to plus equal 300 times our DT. And that's just like up here with these key things. When we move the thing, we're just going to say, hey, move it. So uh, this is very rudimentary. It's only going to move it one direction. There's no logic to where, you know, if we hit it from the left, move it that way. If we hit it from the right, hit it that way. If we hit it from above, move it down, etc. But this will give you an idea at least. So let's just run this and see what that does. And so you see, we boom, we can push him around. Like I said, though, even if we come up from this way, boom, it still pushes it that way. If we come up from above, boom, it still pushes it that way. So, you know, keep that in mind. And you'll have to play around with the logic if you want to move these in all directions. But ah, we're not going to get into that because I don't really care about that. But that's how you can move them. That's how you can push it. So what else can we do? Well, let's um, remove the image, right? So imagine you've got a game where you've got to collect bags of money. And every time you hit a bag of money, you collect it and it disappears from the screen, right? How do we make it disappear? So, well, there's a ton of different ways you could do this. Let's just call the image. Remember that was the hero underscore left, not the rect, but the image itself. And we could just, you know, set this to fill with zero, basically. That's just going to kind of make it invisible, right? <laughs> so you could do it like that, run this guy. Now, when we move this guy around, boom, he disappears. It's still got our box that we've drawn. So, you know, obviously you're not going to have those. In fact, let's just kind of get rid of those because, you know, we don't really need it for anything. Uh, let's come up here and comment these out. Save this guy, run it again. We're going to get the same thing, only without the boxes. So we can get, ah, bah, he's gone. We killed him. We killed him. <laughs> All right. Our mighty hero has vanquished the evil hero. Evil hero? Evil supervillain? Whatever. Uh, so you could do it like that. Uh, what else can we do? Well, I showed you at the beginning of this video how when we collided into it, it popped over somewhere else on the screen. That's kind of fun. That's almost like a game. That's like a catch me game or like a tag or it game or something like that. How do we do that? Well, every time they collide, we can tell the hero left image to reposition somewhere randomly on the screen. Well, that sounds fun. Head back over to our code. Now we need the random library from Python. So let's just import random here. We don't have to install it. It comes with Python. And let's come back down here. And instead of removing the image, let's uh, randomly move image. We just have to redefine where our hero left rect goes. So let's go hero underscore left underscore rect dot, let's say X. And the X position is left and right, right? So we want to move this to random dot rand integer. And we have to decide where on the screen we want this. Well, we know the left hand side is zero and the right hand side is the window underscore width, but we don't want it to go off the screen. So we want to subtract the width of our character, which I think is 54, right? So then we can copy this guy and do it again for the Y coordinate, which is up and down. And I misspelled random R A N D O N. There we go. Random dot rand int. And here it's going to be window height minus the height of our guy, which is, I think, 66. So that's really all we have to do. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. Clear the screen here. There we go. And so now when we play this guy and he comes over here and boop, oh, he disappears. Oh, he's over there now. <laughs> ah, he's down here. And maybe you might have a little counter running. And every time you collide, it adds one to the counter. So you can know, like, keep score how many times you've hit him or something, right? And if you had both characters doing this, you know, you could see who won the game by putting a timer of, I don't know, a minute or whatever. And then, you know, whoever has the most hits or whatever, you know, it's kind of a game. It's a boring game, but, you know, we're starting to get to games is what I'm trying to say here. This is almost like a game. And very cool. So that's Collision. It's really handy that Pygame has this Collide Rect function built in so that it takes care of all this work for us. It decides if two things have collided. And sometimes you could see it doesn't seem like we're colliding because there's some transparency around the image. That's why I drew those rectangles earlier so we could actually see it. Uh, but without those, it, it almost looks like like there. It almost didn't look like we touched. Right. But, you know, the whole image is a rectangle. 
And that's part of this here. Doesn't look like it's an image because it's transparent, but you're still crossing that rectangular plane and that's a collision. So just keep that in mind. And that's really kind of all there is to it. So that's collisions with Pygame. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.